Hello everybody, I'm meteorologist Dan Drew with your weather on demand for UpperMichiganSource.com and boy did we have a cold day today. We were actually one degree shy of a record low set back in 1968 at 17 below. Our actual low was 16 degrees below zero, very frigid, and our high was only four degrees below zero. So very cold, not even close to our normals on the day. A very, very cold day. And, uh, here were some of the, the wind chills on the day as well. Out in Besmer, it was 54 degrees below zero. They had a 50 degree below wind chill in uh, Mass City and a 41 degree below wind chill uh, at uh, Phoenix and then 34 below to, uh, here in Sawyer. A little bit further south, 42 degrees below zero in Kingsford. So those wind chills are only going to get worse tonight. And we do have Lake Beckett snow advisories for Alger and Luce counties until 7 p.m. tomorrow tomorrow night as well as uh, out west in northern Houghton, Keweenaw and Ontonagon counties until 7 p.m. tomorrow night. Looking at another uh, two to four or uh, two to six inches in a few of those areas. And of course, everybody's talking about the wind chill warning that covers the entire Upper Peninsula and we're looking at wind chills that could be anywhere between 35 degrees below zero to 50 degrees below zero. We could see any uh, frostbite set in within about five to 15 minutes. So try and stay inside. There's no reason to go outside and even temperatures, normal temperatures, not even wind chills are well below zero. Not one place reading above zero at this moment. Five below in Newberry, a little bit further west. We get into the double digits below zero. It's 11 degrees below zero in Marquette and uh, 17 below in Ironwood and 18 below over in Iron River. Very frigid temperatures and we are seeing those lake effect snow showers further east and that's why uh, northern Schoolcraft County has been dropped from the uh, lake effect snow advisory and it's mainly just Alger and uh, Luce counties until tomorrow afternoon and it can't really see it on radar but it's still snowing out west along uh, those areas like Houghton and Ontonagon counties as well as in the Keweenaw. Broaden the view a little bit. Well, you'll notice that uh, the lake effect snow showers are still kicking in northern lower Michigan or along the western shoreline, but we're clearing out here out west along Minnesota and Wisconsin, and that means temperatures are really going to drop out there. In fact, it's really cold right now. 14 below in Minneapolis, 3 below in Des Moines, 12 below in Chicago. Now, that in Chicago, that's uh, definitely pretty cold for them. And a little bit further west, pay attention because now we got 20 degrees. That's above zero in Billings and 32 in Cheyenne. Those temperatures are headed our way for the weekend. So that's a little bit of good news. But just to give you an idea of the extent of this cold, it's diving all the way down to Atlanta where they are seeing 17 degree temperatures. And so you think it's cold below zero. Well, Atlanta is not used to seeing those kinds of temperatures down there. So while they are lucky, it's nice to have 17 degrees. Uh, 15 below is pretty cold as well. Now, of course, what we're paying attention to, we already know that this cold air is dipped into the United States and it will slowly retreat by Wednesday as this air mass does head up a little further north and will stick around. We'll start to warm up a little bit. But by the time we get to Friday, the jet stream shifts a little more and we'll see some southerly winds bring some warmer temperatures here to the upper peninsula. So things will warm up as we get closer to the weekend. Now, in the meantime, what we're dealing with is a low pressure system to our west and that big low pressure system that brought in the cold air in the first place. We're retreating well to the north, but we've got high pressure and control and we're seeing those northerly winds stream off of Lake Superior, giving us that on and off chance for some snow showers and that very cold cold weather. High pressure still in control for Wednesday, seeing those northerly winds give us more of the same. And then by the time we get to Thursday, our uh, skies clear out a little bit and we might not see as much snow. In fact, partly cloudy skies across most of the upper peninsula is that high pressure finally shifts north or shifts eastward and we finally get into some return flow. In the meantime, we got to deal with tonight first temperatures dropping from 10 below zero to 25 degrees below zero. And uh, I suspect even in the north central UP where we will be seeing some clearing skies could get well below 10 below zero as well. And uh, of course, in the north, partly to mostly cloudy skies with a few scattered snow showers, especially further west and further east. 
and then partly cloudy skies here in the south with winds out of the west at 15 to 20 miles per hour. Then for tomorrow, uh, the wind's still kicking out of the west at about 15 to 23 miles per hour and expect some snow showers still in the north. Otherwise, partly to mostly cloudy skies and temperatures struggling to get into the single digits. And in our TV six day forecast, it's a cold one for the next couple of days. But if you hold out to the weekend, we're going to see a return of some 30 degree temperatures Friday, Saturday and Sunday, maybe even beyond. We're keeping an eye on that for you, but our skies clear up a little bit and we do warm up. So you might want to wear fewer clothes if you're heading out to the ski hill this weekend. Have a wonderful evening.